We were different people, huh? Yeah, and then we became reverse people. Like, I became right. worse and you became better. <laughs> and then we met each other no. in the middle. <laughs> and then Chick Ten Hun Must. Chick Ten Hun Must Podcast. Featuring your hosts, Jackie Sanchez and Stephanie Wood. Coming at you from South Florida. Chick Ten Hun podcast welcome to chick 10 hun must uh i'm your host jackie sanchez with my co-host stephanie wood sorry should have said her name it's okay uh we're we're a little tired uh and stephanie's upset with how she looks we can see ourselves and we don't like how we look i don't like how i look either to make that uh clear in case you're watching uh not listening uh how are you i am fantastic just a little shiny face but i don't think you look that shiny i look like a light bulb i'm happy to see you I haven't seen you forever yeah it's been a while yes hey it's guys um before we go though don't forget to like subscribe comment share rate review like click you can find us on spotify and full video is available on youtube mm -hmm. and make sure you guys share it and like that shit thanks yeah coca-cola is trying to sponsor us so we got to get up to like 50 likes i think that would be a dream come <laughs> true for me if that happened. Oh, my God. To be sponsored by Coke? Cocaine. Oh. No, I'm just I don't know. Okay, no, Coca-Cola. <laughs> just the, the safe brand. Um, yeah, you've been gone. Everyone's been away. I've been alone. Uh, you've, been, you've been busy here. You've been holding the fort down. But, but, yeah. But you've been, so you went to, Stephanie went to Philadelphia. I did. Got cream cheese. I didn't have any cream cheese. No cream cheese. Or cream pies. <laughs> <laughs> Sans cream. <laughs> Sans cream. <laughs> Uh, yeah, tell tell us what you did. Um, yeah, I did a fantastic uh, run. I was gone from like, when the fuck did I go? Like Wednesday, and I came back on Monday. So I did I Is it five, five shows, shows yeah. with four events um, at Soul Joel's, which is in, I can't say the name, which was part of my act oh, the whole time. It's okay. in Royer's Ford, Pennsylvania. Okay, that's hard. Yep, yeah, I have a speech impediment. It was that's, really hard. That's weird so to say, yeah, I, I agree. said, you guys said I could call it Rofo. Rofo? And okay. Like, yeah, and I was like, I thought Not that was a sexual yeah. position. Like, people <laughs> Want a Rofo? Want people of Rofo are so welcoming. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it opened. I said. Um, I like that. Yeah, fantastic place, fantastic nice. club. One of my best weekends I've ever had, not only Hell in comedy, yeah. but in my life. The staff there is amazing. Soldier is a saint. He has Soul so much, has so much soul. soul. Yeah. Joey, Joey St. John, he's amazing. The whole staff was incredible. They... Just like, I don't know, I feel they welcomed me into their family. I was telling you, I like legitimately was sad to get on the airplane. Like yeah. I was like, I'm going to not only just like miss being able to perform with legends and do that many shows yeah. in front of that many people. I mean, the opportunity of itself was incredible. But the fact that like the staff was so amazing. They were so cool down to earth. Yeah, the environment in general. Yeah. Made, they, everything made it a perfect trip. Yeah. They have That's a really great. special thing going there. They have really great headliners. Um, Damn, it's like outside beach like beach but there's a dome over it um but they're gonna be moving to like a place inside and outside so yeah oh, um, joel he's incredible i love every guys i miss you guys i hope to see you soon yeah, it was so to fun see you guys soon too yeah book jackie book um jackie, yeah. yeah so it was so fun i got to work with three legends one of my favorite comics mm -hmm. of all time rich voss yeah uh uh Jack, i was I'm like oh my god i'm so nervous like how do i I was like practicing introductions like a freaking loser um but that was like <laughs> one of the best shows i had so and then the last day so I did Mike Britt, Rich Voss, Pete Corelli, and then the last day was a Pride event. So it was like the biggest mm, Pride event, outdoor yeah. Pride event ever in Damn. Pennsylvania. I think in Pennsylvania or maybe everywhere. It must have been through. so fun. Yeah, like the, all the news was there. It was a whole I day of I saw some event. drag stuff. I saw some. Um, there was a Spice Girls all. tribute, yeah. which <laughs> I lost my mind. I had to like That's tell, the, I like was so embarrassed. Like Joel walked by and I was like, it's that. <laughs> and he was like, do you know? I was like, I know all the dance moves. Your I know all the showing. songs. So <laughs> yeah, my age was definitely showing, but I lost my <laughs> shit. I literally felt like I was at a Spice Girls Damn, concert. Damn, that must have been He's so He's like, I, this is the most fun. I was like, I'm just enjoying living it living my best life yeah. yeah so um yeah it was amazing it was one of the like i said probably my favorite weekends our time ever doing comedy but one of the greatest venues greatest staff i loved it um i just i can't say enough nice things about Damn. it it's amazing. so one show thursday two shows friday two shows saturday one show thursday one show friday two, two shows, shows saturday one, one show sunday. sunday okay yeah beautiful yeah in feature sets too so i get to like to work nights. every day man it was fucking i felt like a real comic waking yeah. up in the hotel room yeah i had a real snazzy hotel room Doing joe nothing hooked in it the up. morning 
Yeah, they're just awesome though. They like feed you food and alcohol and just take care of you. I just Damn. felt like part of their fam. I was like so wow. sad to leave them. Like I was like literally wanted to like yeah. shed a tear. What so. a bummer. But but great that you got the experience. Yeah. Not a lot of comics get uh, an opportunity like that. So, but you'll get plenty more where that came from. I guess it was my um, first. No, I did Georgia. I was going to say that was my first out of state, but But this was like a weekend away. run. Yeah, like yeah. you got this is work work like yeah it was full work, weekend work. of work yeah you, i got paid got like work like i did, was a real yeah, comic too there which you go congrats chick. Man, thank you so so fun such big uh little how many people you said like uh what was your count head count crowd I wise it, well, i forgot what i posted it was 1200 people or 1400 wow, 1200 people damn there you so, go yeah the pete shows were sold out and then each other show probably had like 200 or so Damn. But they're like, it's so cool because they bring their own like chairs and they're, it's BYOB. Yeah, it's so everybody's cool. just like chilling. It's a really cool vibe. The people there, all different age groups, um, but they're all, everybody was just there to laugh. They're like comedy fans. It's like the Perfect. place to be mm -hmm. in the town. Um, and it was just, it was awesome. It's something I'll never forget. It was like the highlight of so far Beautiful. of doing comedy. So thank you, Soul Jules. Thank you, staff, for having me. It was Beautiful. Fantastic. I'm so yeah. jelly. And you were holding it down here at the improv, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh you're like oh i was just working no. out that's amazing you were i did i you did, did uh you opened up for one of your faves yeah yeah it was it was actually it was very cool for me i opened for kevin farley i did two shows with him uh both shows were great both shows were a lot of fun uh second show was it had started a little late so the crowd was a little uh grumpy but they they turned out to be a great crowd the whole night and they they didn't they didn't ruin it you know so it was fun. He was a great dude, super nice, gave a lot of uh, nice compliments. He made fun of me on stage. It's oh, like he did? My energy, because uh, as a host, that's when, uh, when I, I think when I get booked as a host for like these random headliners, they expect every host to, to be a host. And then I'm like, are you guys ready for your headliner? For this? <laughs> <laughs> are you guys, are you guys excited? You ready yeah, to get excited? So you like, give up? it up for Jackie. She's too much energy it needs to <laughs> calm down a little <laughs> it was just good yeah it was a lot of fun new new connections i love anyone uh who works with sandler so one step closer i'm happy uh, it was great it was a fun fun two shows with chris rowe chris rowe did great oh yeah he was featured the roll him up that stage so a little awkward transitions you know but we pulled it off i didn't lift him i can't do that security you know chris is really funny yeah so I, I did have uh i had an experience actually this would be good to talk about uh i had an experience and i i, I just want an, an opinion this is almost like my delivery dude story where i think i create uh i create fear where it's not real mm -hmm. uh, but so i'm the now one of the security guards caught all of this so if i when, if i find him tonight he can verify so i'm standing in the back of the room and the show is like nearing the end like so i'm standing kind of near the stairs to get ready to take him off right and I'm just like standing there and then this like guy walks up to me, gray beard, really like messy hair. So he, he looks slightly homeless, like a little bit. And he just kind of like walks in and just like looks around, but then just like looks at me and just like stares at me. And it's just staring at me and like, like dead stare, not breaking it. And I'm like, for how long? A minute, probably like a solid minute, oh, like that's a weird. full 60 seconds. So it wasn't just like so, checking you out. Yeah. So I'm just going like. Are you good? And he's by the nothing, stage? Nothing. No, he's like standing like right here, like in the little waiting area, just after this, the like first right set of steps. Like right outside the green room? Yeah, okay. yeah. And he's just like looking at me and I'm like, are you okay? Do you need something? And in no answer, just staring at me. So in my head, the first thought was like, he's going to shoot up the improv and I'm going to get shot first. As, as I was my very first thought was this man's going to be like, bah! and then just fucking, and then I threw like, Kevin Farley. I was going to save Kevin Farley. I'm like, <laughs> like, I can't. But I, so after he did all that, he didn't say anything to me. He just like looked at me and I was like, okay. And I walked away because I'm like, I'm in danger. So I need to walk away. So I walk over and the security guard goes, what the hell was that? I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to just stand next to you until he calls and I'll just run to the stage. I'm not going to risk anything. And the guy's still in the same spot. He has not He moved. walked over to the pillar and then walked right up and stood right next to me in the security guard. Nuh uh And he's just standing there. And I was like, and I just, I didn't look at either one of them. I just stared straight. I was like, pretend like nothing is going on. And then I just kind of look at the security guard and he like looked at me like I'm right here and he's watching. And then I look over at the guy and he's like, and I was like, what? I was like, can I help like, you with did something? Did you fuck this dude and yeah. not remember him or something? Like, <laughs> And I, he was like, you know Johnny. I was like, Johnny who? I know a couple Johnnies. Johnny's a very basic name. You're gonna, I need more. He's like, Johnny. I'm like, 
uh, tattooed guy. I'm like, I know Johnny, Johnny Z, that he comes out to show. No, no, thin white boy, no tattoos. I was like, I don't, I don't know who Johnny, like I was so fucking lost and he looked so mad. Sounds like he had lost his mind. Yeah, I was so scared to that. But then finally Kevin goes, hey, that's my time. So I just run to the stage and I think that I'm going to get away. I'm like, okay, everyone's going to get up and I'm going to get away with it, right? And I'm not going to have to see him again. And then I walk up and he's standing right at the steps as all the lights are on. So I'm like, or at least all the lights are on. Everyone can see us, whatever. Uh, And then he just comes up and he's with like my friend from elementary school, Johnny. But I know him as Eric because he was went by Eric Johnny Carpenter. It's weird. So I did know the person he's but he comes up and I was like, uh, and he's like, sorry if I scared you. I'm like, uh, was that your goal? And he was like, that's how you say hi to someone that you're trying to introduce yourself to? Yeah, I did not understand. Then he came up as I was like leaving them. Like I was like, oh, we, we talked about it. We gave it. I was like, all right, I'm going to head out. It was great to meet you and see you. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. And then he comes over to me and he pulls me and he goes, don't run away. What the fuck? Naturally, I ran away and I was, I just took off. But like, so where did you, where were you outside? I just went up to Warren and Charlie and Steve were in, or more, just uh, Steve left. So it was just Warren and Charlie in the back of the improv. I ran up to them. I said, I'm going to go take pictures, but I have to hide. That man is very scary. And I went over and I went with Chris. They disappeared and they left. I don't, I don't know where he went. But so he did left. you ask Johnny, Eric, um, uh, Sean, John, like what, who this guy was? He said it was his neighbor. So he just brought his, like, just brought his neighbor to see me. But I was like, that was. Did he ask me like, is your neighbor weird all the time? I didn't Does ask anything. Give out anything. serial killer vibes. He was Does there he the whole time. Bodies in a I fridge. Like, tell me you wouldn't think you were gonna die. Okay, if someone I stares at me for a minute and they yeah, look weird. I thought I was dead. And they're like, you know, Johnny. In the improv, I was like, like don't kill me now. Oh, I'm here with <laughs> him. Here with Johnny. Like he's a mutual friend. And he My said name's it in his, so and so. He didn't say it like I'm here with Johnny. He said, Johnny. And I was like, are you trying to kill Johnny, not Jackie? I'm Jackie, not Johnny. I know. I I look boys. I look like a Johnny, but no, I'm no Jackie. (laughs) Fuck. Uh, Yeah. So, uh, so, but yeah, I was uh, think So things like that always make me scared about shows sometimes. Yeah. Because there's, there's not always, there's not, there's not, you're not always at the improv or the security. Right. You know, sometimes you're at a show where I'm just at a bar at Brogues and no one's got my back, but hopefully other comedians. You right. You know, like that's it. And I was just like, am I the only one who feels this way? I have your mace on my keys now. I have mace on my keys now. I bought it for uh, you. And I, I'm not, I'm scared. He's a great rapper. <laughs> <laughs> So, I got your uh, USB with all those yeah, hits on it. Did, yeah, <laughs> carry it around with you, <laughs> always. Uh, but yeah, so that was that was scary as fuck for me. Yeah, I, that's really weird. I don't know if I'm just overly dramatic about no, in the moment, weird as fuck. but it it was just such a it was one of those feelings that my gut was like bad. That's bad, a thing. Bad. That's a, yeah. That's something that we were giving. But it ended like, up not being bad. Well, he I mean, told you not we, to run that away. Yeah, I was gonna say if he someone did, tells no. me not to run away, it's like, hey, I'm not going to rape you. It's like, oh, but you probably uh, are. I was going to say, why would you say that? Like, don't run away. Why would you think I'm going to run away from you? Why don't you just act normal? I ran so fast. I mean, listen, we all can be a little socially awkward, but Jesus, fuck. That sounds creepy. And I was doing pretty good, too. Like, I walked over and I was like, oh, hey. And I'm like, this Johnny. I'm like, I, I didn't piece together. I'm like, I know him as Eric. I'm sorry, whatever. And he was like... Which, by the way, sorry, uh, Eric, Johnny, if you listen to this, no one will know. Uh, no, but, so many names. No uh, one will yeah, track. no one will actually know. I didn't, I didn't know. And he was confusing me, but he just stood there, like, staring at me while I was talking to him and his girlfriend the whole time. And so other homeboy wasn't like, oh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. No, nothing normal. He okay. just, he, like, laughed and said, great to meet you once. And then I w- went to walk away and he grabbed me and whispered in my ear, don't run away. And I was like, all right, God just told me to run away. So uh, so that's so my cue. Gotta go got as fast jet, as I can. Gotta, <laughs> so I Did ran. you have your Air Jordans on? No, no, mm, no. My, so quick. My, my Air Jordans. Your Air Jordans? My Air Jordans. No, dudes are creepy. I mean, remember that one time at... um, Where you got licked? At Brogues? Yeah, and I got a or little... Or backstage. No, I got I got a tooth in my cooter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone just came up and grabbed me right behind my pussy. See, that's never... Ha- I've never been uh really grabbed like that. It was the most bizarre, and it was like I knew it was. Co- I same thing. I saw the guy from I a was far away. I go that mo- I know I can just sense. He's it. gonna grab my pussy for I knew, sure. So I could feel he was weird, and then he just like beelined it for me, yeah. and I was like, "Oh fuck!" See, he's, you get the vibe. He's coming, and he's coming to get me uh, with something. I didn't know what he had, and he just was like, he said something to me. He's like, "Get out of here!" And then he just like grabbed me by my hookah, and I was like, "No, no." And then I ran around no, like I was no. playing duck duck goose around a, a group of men. I was that. like, "Help me!" Oh my god! And finally, Matt Ross. 
I would freak out if rescue. someone touched my kook. I did freak out. But he was like, he looked like he was like on bath salts. Like he was drugged yeah, that the fuck would scare up. Me. I guess I'd let him grab my kook, huh? Yeah. I'm, Better he grabs it than takes it. Like I've right? never been like, raped, but I've been lazy and scared. No. <laughs> and scared. <laughs> and in a parking lot alone. So like. <laughs> no, I was not in a parking lot alone. But, Ugh, um, yeah. No, it was terrifying. That was, that was my, my downer for the weekend. Besides the rain. It's been raining so much. That got, got a good love, a good weather update. Yeah. It's been really <laughs> rainy. Uh, today is June t- 17th. Is it 16th? I June don't know. 16th. I have no uh, idea. And it's just been so rainy. Like, so, 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 it's so, so. It's like rainy. the five days out of the year we get rain. It's like, it's fine. And it's, well, it's the Florida rain. I was driving on night. That sounds like I'm starting a fucking basic open micro joke. I was driving on the I 95. And you know, people, they and don't know how to drive in rain down here. in Florida. And they put uh, their hazards on. <laughs> I was like, hey, gay. Now that's legal, by the way. Uh, it is? It is. Ron DeSantis passed it. I don't like him. But, uh, so. He also passed something today say, say, man, just saying we're going to have a moment of silence in school. So he's re- trying to reinstitute prayer in school. I don't think like you have to say a certain prayer, but he's going to give you like what a about, moment of silence to like. What about the Jewish people? That, uh, you can say any. I think it's any of your religions pl- okay. prayers. You, I don't think it, like you have to say like our father. It's know. been so long since I was in school. I can't even imagine what that would be like. Uh, not like saying, I would just take a quick nap. Yeah. Let me say, know I when just, this is over. I'd be like, OK. <laughs> I'm like, sleep. Um, can I go outside and smoke a cigarette? What did I just get so excited Burn about? Burn a Bernie. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Anal. No, and definitely not. Either. Definitely not. Something that. Oh, the rain of ninety five. It was like super. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was like. It, it did was, you age your hundred years while I, I was to, gone? I had to think about it. Yes, I did. Uh, it's been boring. Uh, <laughs> I. It was like very Florida rain where dry, like completely dry on ninety five, and then I just saw like up ahead like foggy, and I was like, oh, that's gonna. That's just gonna be like a wall of rain. And when I tell you like buckets like from from nothing not a drop to out of nowhere buckets buckets and then clear blue skies it, it almost seemed like, like a movie like three a, miles out yeah. like so maybe three exits and i was like oh fucking like this that that's like not real like that's scary that 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 weather can be that fucking there's a lot there's a literal line like, like you can there see was, there's a yeah, rain and no, it was like, crazy it's always weird on the beach when you can see that yeah you can tell if the rain you can see coming. it for sure you can look yeah. at the, as my dad says i see on the squall line I'm like dad squall, you don't know anything oh, about wow, squall meteorologist line. jim wood jim wood meteorologist it's almost father's day hi i'm meteorologist jim wood here wow it would be jimmy wood like or james wood jimmy wood i oh, like jimmy schubert yeah, same exactly. name that's weird that's <laughs> like <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Shout out Jimbo. Jimbo Slice. Miss him already. Jimmy Wimmy. Can't wait to see him Shibby later. Shibby Jimbo, he doesn't like Jimbo. Uh, anyway. So do, you, are, are, do you think we're going to talk about Jimmy Schubert on every podcast? Because I think yes, maybe. We're in love. I told you, I was telling you we're when we, I was um, you know, like telling Jimmy, because he knew all the headliners I was working with, obviously. So yeah. he's like, to ask Rich Foss about the time we went golfing and da da da. So uh. I was just like, hey, Rich, Jimmy, why me? <laughs> Yeah, so he told me the whole story, but he was hey, telling this to me right before I was going on stage. So, so I was like, heard it both ways. Uh, I'm having a panic you attack. Like, oh, I'm so nervous. Like, uh, I'm waiting for the he- like the host. I'm wait- I think that's so his we joke. catch an anchovy instead of a bass. <laughs> and, so then he, like, and then he drives off into the grass. It's like, what the fuck, Schubert? We're not giving these comedians enough credit for telling a good story. Yeah, uh, this like, is just no. Yeah. In my brain, that's how I was processing yeah. the story. Because yeah, because you can't I hear because like, you're hearing it. And wah, 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 wah. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. what's my first joke? What's my first joke? Don't forget. What a pain in the dick. No, it was, I mean, it was amazing. But I just yeah. loved Schubert for being so, like, such a good yeah. mentor to be like, hey, when you meet this person, ask him about, like, he was just like, oh, yeah. Uh, I talked to them. Yes, they say they got is. you taken care of. Well, I was like, thanks, I got it. Thanks, Big guy. Dad. I'm 100 years old. He really old. is your dad. He's the best. He's he the, best the best mentor, best. sensei. We'll see him later. He'll be here soon. Um, So this will come out after our daddy's um show, but I'm sure it's going to go well. Yeah. We have you got some tickets sold. I was God, yes, I got some tickets sold. Some private Will messaging. this have already happened? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, uh, yeah. I hope it'll be. Um, if this is to this is to future Jackie, if you, if you're hey girl, if you're hey. listening, uh, <laughs> you're nervous. You're nervous as fuck right now about the show, but it's always the night of. You're back home and you're like, look, I'm back home smoking weed. Yeah. yeah, this is what I what I before before a big show that I'm nervous for. I just sit on my couch with Silas and like smoke weed, and I'm like, God, I just don't want to leave here ever. Like, I just want to be here. This is my island, and I just want to be here forever. And then I go and I do the show, and I'm like, God, I wish I could be in the couch. And, and then I finally am on the couch, and I'm like, that was so fast. And like, and then it, but don't and you, it's you don't over. like the part in between? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> 
Sometimes. If it goes good, I hate everything. It's so. going to go really well. We're, it's It'll go good. A, I feel confident. It's yeah. going to be a fun a, show. A fun fucking show. Are we doing the dad joke off at the end? I don't know. I've been. I've Why? Been t- I think we cause should. Because well, we have to make time for it. So I might right. have to cut, cut some time off people's sets. But I'm thinking that might, might not be a problem anyway. So uh, so maybe we got to think about how to do it. But they would each come on stage. Yeah. And then do a zaddy joke. They would do the joke. The round of applause, maybe. Yeah. And then we would have to give them like a present for being the best zaddy. So what would you? We give them like a like What's a. That's a good dad present. Like a bu- pack of Budweiser. <gasps> oh, nice. Um, like, like a, a grilling gifts, ape, yeah. like an apron, or I don't know. What you? This could be fun. Yeah, <laughs> grilling apron, perhaps. <laughs> Let's buy a barbecue. I buy my dad books. He's an intellectual. What so. do dads normally accept? My, Dumb shit. My huh? dad likes books and survival gear, so I don't know. My dad also, well, not books, but he likes. But like, you would want to like, cr- like crown them, like with yeah. a sash or something. Like so it have to yeah, be like Dilf of the night or whatever. I, I like Zaddy. Zaddy. I think Zaddy's King good. Zaddy. Like, um, we'll think of something. Yeah, Zaddy of the year, Zaddy of the night, best, Zaddy of the year, best, Zaddy, best Zaddy Zinger, Zad of the year award. Because they're trying to have the best yeah, dad best joke. Dad Zinger. A dad Zinger. Um, and then I'll make out with whoever wins. Yeah. Yeah. In okay. front of my dad. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's good. That's good. That's like a, that's, that's the, for the runner deal. up. That's for the that's runner like, up. <laughs> um, on stage. You have to do it in front of everybody. No, thanks, sir. Yeah. You wouldn't make out in front of people? On this, on a stage? Yeah. Why not? I mean, if you were paying me, I guess. If it was like part of like, a, like a theater show. I'm paying you. <laughs> but like, I can't make out with one of those people. I know all of those people. That'd be, we're not act. That's be, I don't know. That's What if weird. I said you can't perform unless you make out with someone at the end all of the All right. Well, then I'm going to meet two of you, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Sound like everyone else I know. No. <laughs> you have, not me. <laughs> make like out a, with a boy. Um, finally, a female yeah. booker, and she's making me make out with her. <laughs> you have to make out with me in order to be unjacked up. That's the Let's way this the works. the best Western. The best Western. Little inside baseball. It's a um, I, anyway, you were saying this earlier, and I had something I was going to ask you this, anyways. Besides thinking about how quickly you want to return to your couch to smoke weed, yeah, always. Do you, do you have any other like pre rituals? Let me try that word again. Pre show rituals that you do? Are any like nervous habits, weird shit that you do? Um, I was nervous if I had a camel till I was covering my. Oh, <laughs> I said that on stage, and uh, and it's and been, I, yeah so the chairs here uh at the at the palm beach improv that's where we're shooting uh thank you palm they, beach improv. they moved the tables closer to the stage so i was <laughs> so every time i go up there and i'm wearing my high-waisted pants i'm like yeah i can see my lips like i'm so, I asked, I'm, I was so like, Can you guys I'm genuinely so nervous and i sit there going <laughs> like but uh uh what did you just ask oh besides we're oh, so I, I, I look at my labias i see um, how many they're showing shower I always shower. Yeah. If it's a big show and I'm really scared, uh, I'll do ten minute meditation. I otherwise I fall asleep, as you know. So I can't. They can't really meditate properly. It doesn't work. I didn't uh, know you did that. Only for big, big, big shows like that. I'm like just overly anxious and I'm really in my head. Then I have to take like just ten minutes where I just, I try to just breathe and not think about it. It's so hard, but I try it. Uh, I don't really do too much. Drive and listen to music. Sing my heart out. That's a fun um, one. That's a great one. That makes me feel better. Makes my voice. If I sing, if I could f- say I'm driving to Fort Lauderdale, mm-hmm. I got a far show and I sing the whole drive. I got a little rasp in my voice because it's worn <laughs> out. I sound sound more uh, masculine, and I <laughs> so that works uh, well. Uh, but not but not too much. I don't eat. I don't eat any like, and I won't eat risky food like. I eat only starches and proteins <laughs> like two days before a big show, like starting two days out because I don't want to get the shits. Starch, starches and proteins. Starches and proteins. So potatoes, pasta, chick ten ton chick must. Ten ton must. So French fries, chicken. But yeah. That's all I'll eat like the day of, the day before. Cause so I know that I'll probably be constipated, you know, <laughs> 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 typically. Uh, that's um, it, yeah, though. I like the one, the one you told me that I picked was uh, that I've used is to listen to music because sometimes yeah that helps. I'll drive lot. to Miami by myself in silence, just no in my head. No, you da, gotta, da, 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 da. you gotta some, listen to music. I sometimes I don't even know if I'm even going over anything. I'm just there's like I'm just in a static just state no. of just like. Uh, I only drive silent when I'm really uh, upset or mad. Like so I stopped I, doing that. I started. Yeah, you gotta. I listen to my favorite songs and I sing the whole time or rap or whatever music I'm into that night. I play it all the way and I 
and if I'm alone, if I'm riding with other people, that's why I like to ride by myself. Because I'll sing in the car with you. Private concerts. But see, the problem with my car is in private concerts is I have an old car and yeah. there is no way to hook up my phone. I've tried all the things like with the adapter. Oh and my god! I mean, I've literally bought five things. I've had people that worked. I used to work uh-huh. at a software company. It was like. There's a way to make your... So you listen to the fucking not. radio? Or my dad, shout out again, Jimmy Wood. CD. Um, he makes me hippie mixes, volume one through like, I don't think I'm in like 13 or something now. So it's just like, I wish your dad like Grateful married. Dead and, you know, just like I the can't. Rolling Stones. So some songs are good, but some are real chill. Wow. Okay. Like so I don't can't listen to Cardi B or something like really car. get me going. You need a new car. I know. She, I think, don't talk about her. She's, in, she's on the fritz right now. I can't believe uh, that's so... Spotify... And my one playlist, it's a playlist with the girl doing the cartwheel. That's my go-to playlist. It's a little emoji. She's got her legs split. Yeah, yeah. And that's my favorite playlist. And I probably have the same four songs over and over and over and over and over. But I cannot imagine not being able to listen to those same songs over and over and over. I mean, I can listen to it just on my phone. That's ta- No, sh- that's not Sometimes the same. Sometimes I'm so fucking ghetto, I will literally be- bring like ear... <laughs> It's dangerous. You can't hear people honking. At uh-uh, you. I only put it in one ear. All right. Okay. okay and often okay. when I do that, I'm honestly listening to a podcast. So. Oh my gosh. Wild. We need to figure something out. I don't think I should be listening to podcasts before I go on stage because I think I have too many voices in my head. Yeah. I, I mean, that just sounds to, like I'm a psychopath. I don't listen to podcasts. I'm unbuttoning my pants, but you won't be able to see it on camera. <laughs> so. They're too tight. They're high waisted. I have a show tonight. My stomach hurts. Uh, <laughs> your labias are going to be out. <laughs> uh, no, they won't come out, though. If anything, they'll hide now because yeah, she'll right. be too loose. Uh, uh, but yeah, I gotta get um yeah some jams. Maybe I'll have my dad burn me some more CDs. <laughs> yeah, have, yeah, have your dad make you some more mixtapes. <laughs> some show how he really feels about you. <laughs> Should I just put like a boombox in my car? That's so cute though that your dad is the one doing it for you. I mean, he hasn't in a long time, but oh, he, yeah, he right. used to. Okay. I mean, he has any CD you could ever. I'm gonna think buy of. you the Justin Bieber CD just so you're not so deprived anymore. I know. I need a good mix. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I'm getting real sick of. I'll get it for you. I He's can't. Miami drives back and forth. I'm just. That's incredible. And You're then I hate driving people in my car because I'm like, I have like, Dave yeah, Matthews band like, CD. Someone's like, hey, let me get the aux cord. You're like, ah. I was like, there's a Beyonce. CD there is in no there. aux cord. <laughs> there is no Welcome aux cord. Welcome to the game. Yeah, that would be a. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of embarrassing. It's okay. But my, my car, uh, my car is. I mean, it's about to go, but. There's a lot of um, little things in it that are broken. Same thing. I can't plug in. I can't get anyone else's phone to connect to my car. Only my phone. That's I've never right. been able to connect anyone else's, and I don't want to bother trying. So I I always have to control. Plus, the you music. have the four songs you need. Plus, with yeah. The, with the car do car. I really need to listen to anything other than leave the door open and peaches? Like, do you, <laughs> do you have a walk up song? Uh. I used to, but not anymore. I now I just do whatever song I'm into at that time that hypes me up, like that makes me feel good. Yeah. Uh, Miguel likes to play me Jackie Chan by Post Malone. That's his favorite song oh, yeah, to yeah, play yeah. me because it says I, Miguel. Don't forget his last name. <laughs> Remember our, our comments. Oh my bad, Miguel. Uh, La, Miguel. De, it's like a Latin de la muerte. Yeah, mm-hmm. de la muerte. I think. Yes, yeah, the sound. The the legendary sound guy. The, the improv. He does the. Him. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the world famous Palm Beach Improv. <laughs> Give yourselves a big round of applause for coming out tonight. Oh, you can do better than that. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Please He's like, keep your table talk down to, to a minimum. minimum, and absolutely no yelling out to the stage. There are no videotaping and recording of any kind. <laughs> we also don't allow vaping in our improv. But now that we got that out of the way, <laughs> your headliners, they're writing back, Franco Harris! <laughs> Woo! And your feature this evening is Blake Woodrow. And now your hostess with the mostest, Danny Fallon. She knows when to kick it, Jackie Chan. That's how songs, that's how shows start for me. <laughs> that's exactly how it goes. I mean, literally verbatim have you been to the improv that's what it sounds like uh if miguel is working and if it's jay guy good (laughs) good evening (laughs) why does he sound like caspi welcome to the palm beach improv (laughs) give it up (laughs) (laughs) that's not a good jay guy impression that's a really good keep going i want to hear a little more jay Uh, guy i think that's all all y'all can do better than that it's (laughs) It's Friday night. I almost spit my water. <laughs> Kevin Foley's in the building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love um, Jay Guy. That's that was really yeah. fucking funny. That crush. That was Thanks. that was great. You're really good at. Imp- imp- I never people know. Is I know. it impressions or impersonations? Uh, 
It's the same thing, huh? Right. It has to be imp- impression. Is an yeah. Uh, no, because imp- like I left an impression on you, so maybe impersonation. But I do. You can also do an impression. An impression. Of yeah, someone. it's the same thing. Okay, I don't care. It's the same thing. Are no, you go- I always wonder that because I never know which word. Are you to googling say. it, Blake? Okay, he's googling it. Like for I us. also don't know the word template. Is it template or template? Template. Okay. Tem- template. Yeah. I just sound like I have a speech impediment at all times. Template. I say template, but I feel like it sounds wrong. Template. Template's template. fine. Tam- I say template. <laughs> do you got? Do you got a template? Got a template I can borrow. I had to definitely borrow some tampons when I was on. And yeah, I was like, yeah. Because I wasn't gonna ask Soldier right, to go so buy me tampons, back. so I was like, I gotta go find some. <laughs> like, hey, gotta go girls, find <laughs> some. Oh my god, now you're. And then a girl wrote on my um on my Instagram. She's like, so nice to meet you. I'm so happy I could give you a tampon. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have it back? You're so cool. <laughs> I was like, here's my signature. <laughs> wow, you supposed to sign the tampon. Um, oh yeah. So I was gonna tell you. Um, yeah, I don't have any weird rituals besides I just. Oh, I do. I write all my. I have to write down my stuff on a note card in black sharpie, and I look like a psychopath. Black sharpie. And Specific. I was like, you know, sitting there with just a legendary headliner, Pete, and he was like trying to talk and have a conversation with me. And I was like, I'm really weird. Before I go on stage, like I'll be much better when I get off. And he started laughing. He goes, "That's good though." And then he said some. He said something funny. He's like, you know, me and you should sh- uh, share a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> he was so nice. That's he funny. Was so nice. I can't believe. It's just nice to work with nice people when yeah. like you're a little intimidated by them and maybe you expect someone oh, that yeah. famous to kind of not it's be It's such that a bummer kind. when they're a dick. It, I haven't encountered uh, that yet, so. I'll get ready. Here we go. It'll <laughs> happen and hopefully you won't melt down the way I did, but. Uh, We're not going like, to talk about that. <laughs> We're not talking but, uh, about that today. But uh, yeah, there's definitely I just had dates. a vision of you making Toll House cookies. <laughs> now like, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. Uh, I guess I was that's saying. a part of my meltdown you mean making cookies I don't know maybe melts chocolate <laughs> oh okay I mean I like Toll House cookies don't get I me really wrong I really haven't been eating a lot of carbs or food so I've just been thinking about cook- you making me cookies every day some, <laughs> need to, every day you think about me making oh that's sweet oh man they had this really good like um, it's not quite a pizza I think they call it a tomato pie in Philadelphia, so it's like, I don't like tomato. most my mouth just start watering. It's like kind of like a deep dish pizza, but with less cheese. Mostly sauce. A lot of sauce. <laughs> so good. Ew. It was amazing. That sounds disgusting, dude. And then, not to go back to like my weekend, I but wouldn't. I would it. was so Rich, Rich Foss. I said his name so nervous still. Rich, Rich, Rich Foss. <laughs> um, he was like said he was hungry, so I looked into this bag and they had just ordered food, and mm. it looked like there was like like some kind of pasta like penne pasta in there i was like do you mm. want some pasta like there's and i was like yeah yeah, yeah. so i like go to, it was fucking fries with like cheese melted on it i was like um, it's just cheese fries yeah. <laughs> but he was he liked it he, he liked he did okay yeah good. i ate one too it was oh good. my god a penne fr- pasta. i was like oh no but it's just fries with cheese penne? On it. Like, <laughs> just like trying some to like cheese fries uh, just cheese Damn. fries what are you gonna eat today chicken on us no i don't know probably nothing i can't <laughs> probably nothing <laughs> i'm already thinking about what i'm gonna eat what are you gonna have chicken i don't know i don't know i got i had chicken on must this weekend so you have them all the time yeah oh i forgot that you're a local celebrity we didn't talk about that yet you made applause break your mic oh i was like what are you talking about applause break give tell them what it is you'll explain oh it a, a applause break uh writer chuck king He's a writer, right? And photographer. Uh, and photographer, yeah. I think amazing. he's a journalist is a good way to put it. Yes, he has to say. I don't, I'm not sure 100% what his main thing he does is. Uh, but he has a, a website called applausebreak.com. Um, and they basically give like a calendar uh, updates of everything comedy in South Florida, which, I mean, is perfect. Like how We need something like that. I thought it was uh, it's so cool. Like, it's per it, it's the great it's the best thing if you're looking for quality mm-hmm. shows and comedy like that's what you would read so naturally he wrote an article about my mic because uh <laughs> but no i was i was super excited he came he showed up last tuesday uh and it was a super busy night so he showed up on a good good night uh Wasn't that the night you had like 40 comics or something i think so yeah yeah uh and he and he took pictures and he uh, wrote that it was uh one of the better open mics going on now which is great uh i'm i didn't expect it to happen because it was it started off so weak and so i think shitty. when you move from that back room huge, to the other yeah. room made yeah, all of the huge, difference huge huge and that's what that's what he he got really uh if you read the article about it uh basically like how it went from like february in the front room and then in just a couple months it's just better and better and better and better and then like I mean, you guys weren't there last night, but last night we had full crowd in the whole front. 
I saw your snap. Front, to, yeah, or your yeah, Instagram. my Instagram story. Yeah, it was it was ridiculous last night. Like Gio was sitting in a corner, like, oh god, there's people. I have to perform in front of people, and I was like, yeah, like this is great though. This is like full table up That's front. That's the whole and point of exactly. Yeah. yeah, it was it was it was it was just when I used to it. We were used to just empty. So it was it was great to have all all crowd uh it was awesome it was a great night really good crowd they lasted till about 10 15 anyway so wow. the, so it worked out to be longer and good uh we had 36 comics I jesus think? what time were you last done? night Eleven thirty. shit dude so i mean but it was okay but yeah so the so the article is very very nice i'm very thankful for it uh it's an open mic that's Used to be, a, I would say, a writer's room, but now I think a legit open mic. Yeah, like, it is. Like, a, like, it, like it did the full rotation. Not Backstage never made it. You did that. You made that. Ro- you flipped it. They forced me. They made me. I was in the back room, so they told me I had to be in the front, and I kind of argued. I was causing some friction, but then then I was like, you know what? I, I dig it. It's it's great. And well, and I mean, I think it's like cool to do like those right, like what Backstage was where mm-hmm. even if you have 40 comics, they're still... You know, people are out, yeah. smoke, whatever. There's 20 comics, yeah. 30 comics you get to perform in front of. But those are also comics at the end of the day. Mm. Um, yeah, and so it is nice to have an people. audience there. Because even yeah. if it's, like, not a joke, like, you, I don't, you're like, with there's, I have jokes that I, like, are good to go. Then mm. are, like, meh, kind new of. New ones are the only ones you want to do in front of comics. Oh, like, and then there's brand new ones. Yeah. But sometimes those, meh, like, those middle yeah, ones where, like, you've it. heard me say it, but I haven't figured out the punchline. Yeah, or I, there's something, work it out. Yeah. there's something, like, not quite adding up. Mm-hmm. That's nice to do in front of a crowd at an open mic. Absolutely. Because those are the jokes I struggle with mm-hmm. working on because I don't. I rather go to an open chance, mic if yeah. it's all comics. I'll just do new shit. Yeah, and just or if it's a show, off, I'll yeah. just do the shit I know. But that stuff in the middle, like after I tell the joke the first yeah. time at the open mic, mm-hmm. to have place like Brogues to go to. Yeah, I was to say actually now I think out. yeah, Brogues might be the place to see if jokes have legs and see if they can really take off. And then most of my jokes that then. I've written the last year because I started. I, yeah, was, oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's been we've had it now since December, so pretty much uh, right as I mean, pandemic ended. I guess like last year but yeah i didn't go I feel out like the last six months it really got yeah and we're back to normal yeah we're 100 percent back to normal now so yeah that's my favorite open mic I yeah like. it's been so fun gatsby's is good too that elijah yeah, james runs gatsby's. that that's fantastic on wednesdays um often have a good legit audience too like you could yeah. go there and do like if you want to like work yeah. out I uh, have 10 minutes. I need to work out. You can run like a full. And they have great food. You got to, you know, she's put you on the show for that long. Oh, yeah. they have fantastic food there, yeah, too. Yeah, great, great, great food. Brogues like, has good food, too. Last night I had the dip, a Dublin dip. It's great. Good You've turned too. 45 years old since I Yeah. Left. You're talking about the I weather <laughs> and fucking dips 45. and schmears. Oh, <laughs> I had a good weekend. <laughs> but just want to talk about your insurance next. How's your dental plan? I am switching car insurance. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Sorry. So, like, <laughs> I'm gonna switch soon. Uh, get a new car. I'm car shopping. Oh, that's annoying. Um, yeah, I don't even want to think about that. I don't even want to put that into the universe. We're yeah. gonna make old girl ride until her wheels fall off. Literally. Yeah. Go for it though. That's but good. Congrats on the article. And uh, Chuck Thanks. King is he's. I, I love that whole platform. What they're yeah, doing. I think it's great. He comes out to all the shows and takes pictures of us, so we get like photos. Mm-hmm. Um, he's never shot me yet, and he keeps saying he thinks that it'll just never happen. He's not meant to shoot me because he just. Every show never works out. We never actually get to see each other. That's weird. It is weird. Yeah, well, he he's, he's I mean, I've told, I think I've said mm-hmm. on here before what he said about me on stage and photos. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. He's like, I just can't take a good picture of you. Like, you're, I see you now. And you're, That's why I like you're, him. You're he's pretty. A, he's, yeah, he's, he's so sarcastic. He's a very sarcastic. honest, Loved, fucking, it's like, I, oh, I like his chops. I love him. Yes, yeah. he's funny as fuck. But I think he meant it. He's like, you're just the mm-hmm. ugliest person. On, you make the ugliest faces on stage. He it's goes, I'm looking at your face now. It's not bad but like <laughs> when you're on stage i just can't get a good picture of you and yeah there it's hard i feel you though i forgot who just took pictures of me recently uh oh at, at oh the at, i call out a photographer that feels rude uh at a show i did recently but because i don't move like the, oh, they all look the same oh, and i'm okay. equally as ugly in all of them because <laughs> i'm not moving and they didn't change angles at all so they stood on that the side that my hair covers so you can't see well, my that's fa- like yeah like see this yeah. is actually my good yeah, side see, this from now on we have to, I have to start filming be. on this side oh you this? could have taken this chair because this isn't my but like I like I wanted you to sit in the big girl chair so I can look like a bug so you can. is that what it happened <laughs> I look small it looks like yeah. a like a Venus flytrap I'm just gonna suck <laughs> me in like just 
We clap at the same time. Um, crazy. oh, so I was going to ask you since you are kind of the open mic queen, what are some like a lot of people are starting rooms. Um, mm -hmm. like what are some general faux pas or some like open mic rules or things that like peeve you off? It's funny you bring that up. <laughs> well, oh, what did you do fucking Blake uh, no, no. <laughs> yeah Blake uh, no Blake didn't do anything no uh, yeah no last week I posted some uh, some new rules for brogues on Facebook because uh, it was just getting a little it was too wild was the, the or ordeal of 45 comics showing up and then everyone like expecting to get up like the show has to end at some point I have like w who are we talking to at this point also the last 30 minutes is to no one you know so like I get that you want stage time, and I'm certainly not trying to get in the way of anyone's hustle. I want everyone to succeed, but it it was just everyone was too hyped, and everyone getting upset that they couldn't go up, and there had to be some order. So, uh, but I also I I think. Do you cut it off now at thirty? Thirty five. That's that's plenty. A shit ton of comics. That's plenty. I think that's more than enough. Thirty five comics, five minutes each. Yeah, that's a lot. Opening ten minutes. That's a lot. In between, exactly. I mean, that's a lot. And their kitchen closes at ten, so they are. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So they're so at that point, then you're just ordering drinks. So I'm not gonna go beyond eleven thirty. That's just I too like late. I feel like sometimes the staff's waiting for us to leave. Yes, they close at midnight to one, so we're always just kind of sitting there. So I'd like to end the show by eleven eleven thirty to be polite to the venue. This isn't all about us. Like mm -hmm. this is a job, and we're working with someone else, and it's their business. So I'm not trying to hurt it. Uh, so, but there, there also any open mic I think absolutely has to have rules. What you're just gonna throw down a list and say, okay, we'll sign up. However, go for it. And then what I'm gonna sign up me, you, Charlie, fucking Warren, Steve, and then I'm gonna write. Well, Stephanie's doing 15 minutes because I decided Stephanie's doing 15 minutes. Like, no, you need there's structure to an open mic. I absolutely. Went the uh, like two weeks ago when I came. Mm -hmm. I came. I forgot what I was doing, but I came later. So mm -hmm. I was like, late, and someone's like, "Oh, you're not just gonna just go up now?" And I was like, "No." Yeah, like, like she'll. She, I'm like, she, that's not how this works. Even though she's my best friend, I came later, so I'm yeah. gonna wait my turn to if go. If there up. wasn't such a demand and it wasn't people lining up at seven thirty, totally. I, I was at first when I first started running the mic. I was whenever Flip or Jimmy or whoever came through, I would just throw them up well, whenever. They're different. They're headliners. No, but. Mm, headliners and friends same thing so like but i would i can't do every week and and because everyone's waiting and signing up and waiting for that spot and counting down there's until their spot and then oh well you just walked in so okay hang on i gotta stop the room because this person walked in and then everyone else is like well what gives i've been here for two hours and i agree well if you got here at 6 45 i shouldn't bump you you've been you waited the right amount of time you've been here you're you're got here when you were asked to you know yeah so i think getting there when you need to don't give the host shit don't steal the list from the fucking host that's been driving me nuts people just take it out of my hands and i then i'm like i need it i'm supposed to know who the fuck is next how do you feel uh, about people signing other people up no like before it never bothered me before it bothers other people so maybe we should explain maybe to like my mom or something who listens to this okay so like there's a list you set like jackie starts so, okay, so at there's, seven. A, there's a list i get there i arrive at brogues about 6 30 now i try to get there earlier i i don't think i have to but i but to set up and to get there on time so i get there early i set up uh and then technically i drop the list at when I get there. So so maybe it drops a little earlier than seven. Someone also came at me for that too. I was like, I'll explode. I'll cancel this mic. I'll, <laughs> I'll blow up, rogues. So like, I will turn this car yeah, around I'm, right I'm, now. I we'll go right back home. Don't raise your voice at me. Oh my no one's God. getting dessert tonight. I couldn't. <laughs> so, but yeah, so I, I get there. And by the time I get there at 650, whatever, there's already like seven to 10 comics there. I so it was like that with backstage. Yeah. So you, yeah. I get there, you sign up. Okay, great. There are, everyone is signed up. Now, what's mind-blowing about it is people don't even ever really take the top five spots. They are afraid of them, and they, they take underneath it. So you're bitching about shit, and then you won't even sign up early. So there, there is just too much, and then there's people who were hitting me up asking, hey, mind if you sign me up early? I'm on my way, or I'm going to be late. And then the same exact people would show up to the mic and be like, well, they're not here yet. And I'm like, well, motherfucker, neither were you. Like, but just because you hit me up and they hit some like, so it just it became where everyone wanted their their cake and to eat it too, and right. it's not every it's it's our open mic, it's everyone's, but I'm running it, so I can make rules if I want to, and I want a good show, so I'm gonna implement rules. Like you have to if you're gonna have a free for all, that's not a well. That, and I think at the end of the day, you want to make it fair. 
absolutely you're not trying to just like give it again like like i forgot but like you're you literally are gonna wait on this list to go i was like yeah just because she's my friend doesn't mean i should skip but All sure, these other but fucking people. If someone did like leave or something, I'd probably throw you a bone over. Sure. Like if if, if there was a spot open, like hey, Blake doesn't want to stay for his. But like I don't ever just walk spot. in and like oh I'm just gonna go up. No, now. I don't do it for like anyone. And never. Like, I, I would I'm, never. I'm quite the twat about it. Uh, I I get mad at Warren when he signs up early because I'm like they got here first. They tech, we arrive at the same time. They were here ten to fifteen minutes before you. Let them pick first. Mm-hmm. We do we really care when we go up? Like no, we don't. It, well yeah, you gotta say there. Stage time. Yeah, say I don't give a fuck. He shouldn't give a fuck. So I'm like yeah, it it happens. People just start to they want their stage time, and if you're gonna sign up and wait, I'm gonna make it fair as I can. Yeah, and so, that's all you're trying to do. I think that's. Important. I just trying. I'm trying to make everyone happy, and then ultimately just make everyone unhappy. And everyone hates, you and you feel like everybody and hates everyone you. Hates yeah, you. I would feel that way. But too. I. <clears throat> just i can't care anymore you, you, yeah you're not it's gonna please everybody mic. yeah just yeah, calm like, the fuck down get a, get here when you want to go out on stage uh, if you want to get early and everything just five minutes fucking chill it's five minutes get a seltzer um i heard um minda told me minda mo she's minda, a fantastic comic minda mo. Uh, message me she goes like 50 percent more people t- said hi to me because they thought i was you <laughs> she true goes, yes. she goes i was like i wonder if she had another mango incident but oh um, my god she's like but i'm not as nice as you so probably people are gonna start hating you more <laughs> oh my god yeah she was uh she was with us on wednesday last week uh here and she sat at the table with me and warren and it probably totally looked like you yep it's, it's probably like, the same thing hey would you like, like a, would you like, like a seltz or a stella yeah. that here they know to bring me a stella because they're awesome yeah oh yeah there you go yeah okay. they are yeah they know i like shirley temples when i'm a little lit you know? Yeah, when you're like, I want to get, I want to let loose. Can you put some maraschino cherries up in that spray? Give me some grenadine. I want a shot of sugar. Okay, so oh. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Such a push. Should we do some lukewarm takeies? Yeah, takeies. Blake has a big show tonight at the Improv. So yeah, yeah, he does. He doesn't look nervous at all over there. No, you. I don't, don't feel your anxiety at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh wait, it'll be hold great. On. Oh wait, I wanted to real quick talk about um, taking headshots. <laughs> Yeah, we can talk that. Talk that talk, girl. Talk that talk. So um, I have... Talk about the, your terrible I've talked shot. about my terrible headshot before, yeah. my mother's views on it. And <laughs> so mother. at Soul Joel's, they have everybody that performs their autograph, a picture, and they're going to put it inside their building. So um, they have a little love of Joey St. John. He's there like... I don't know. He's like, does everything there. He's fucking fantastic. He's like, hey, can you send me your headshot? And I was like, uh. So yeah. I send it to him and he's like... For your quality of work, you have to get a different picture. And I was like, I've taken other photos. <laughs> so then I told him the whole thing with my mom about he not liking the lipstick and the hair. So he edited the picture. So I have like it. a blown out like Farrah Fawcett hair and just like I love it. the most makeup you've I ever seen. It. Like he painted my face, I think. And that's the picture I signed. <laughs> and it's up there forever. Everyone's so, like, wow, well, Stephanie Wood glamour model. No, I'm going to send them a different picture. But you saw me take photos before. And I mean, yeah, could you, you imagine out. how awkward I was? Yeah, you don't like it. No. You're like me and when an iguana's in the room. It's like, or another human or, or another a man that per, says do you know johnny or a person's <laughs> like do you know johnny <laughs> or me anywhere anytime always uh, um yeah uh you 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 weren't as i mean i didn't see you be too nervous but i'm i'm awkward with pictures and i was like oh you're gonna be too tense and weird and then i watched stephanie and i was like you nothing, won't be that bad yep. like, you won't be <laughs> nothing could be that you bad be, you were you were uh it was fun because then but then we had to watch anna who was say your full name Anastasia Palvinskaya, who was just, I mean, can we talk about it? What can a fashion the, queen. Just so cute. And she knows her angles. angles and a, she, she hit like a, mo- like a model. She stopped when she knew where she, and she kept going and going. And he was like looking at them and she's still going. And she's like, ah. Oh. Uh, she, how would you say I, I did my poses? You f- <laughs> <laughs> scared so like, scared <laughs> also so high <laughs> like you're gonna shit <laughs> my eyes i was wearing fake eyelashes so my eyes are like so literally closed <laughs> i was hung over one of the times <laughs> oh my god my face i had eaten like solely Smiddle ramen for three po- weeks she had her hands like this on it yeah i was like this <laughs> <laughs> staring out into the distance i was like <laughs> i was like do you guys have any foil foilage i could maybe she put into this the one <laughs> You know where they were the school graduation. Oh my god! I like what was I wearing? It was just like what happened. Oh my god! It's the second time I tried doing it. It's like I still didn't learn. I've shown you. I don't. You can get pictures on here, right, Blake? Can I like send you pictures that you'll put in here? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you. <laughs> oh no! 
<laughs> no, not yours. Not yours. I have some. I'll send you some. I have, I'll send some. So I've done, I've admitted this. Now I don't, uh, I won't put again photographers on blast. I've done five rounds of headshots. Mine was not the photographer. That was Okay, me. that was just I you. mean, you saw how okay. good he did. Well, I've done, else. I've paid five people. This is worse. I've paid them f- for headshots five different times. And I've only liked really two of the runs and then now i've of course i don't like that like the the one before that i like what zach did i didn't like the first one because i was too high in the picture yeah we so have that to was my fault before we yeah did. i definitely my eyes are so much prettier when they're open <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> when you can see when you can see the color uh so so those were great but i have like there's one of me like by a pool like laying like with my hair out like on the floor that's a good one is um, it a professional photo it is i look okay but it but it's not a comedian headshot and then i have like one of me like holding the mic in my mouth like a dick and it's like Mm -hmm. a cheesy white background there's one that my lips look gray that i look like i'm dead like i'm like (laughs) like i just look like a dead person uh and then there's one more that's really bad i'll I'll try to send them on hopefully we can oh uh, well you weren't there for the first shoot when it was for the calendar where i I literally was in a pile of leaves because i was missing november oh my god blake i'll send some of these to you there yeah that i'd like to see the i i had a full-blown panic attack. pile of leaves i was full cover your your nips with leaves little leaves leaves. i was just covered in sweat it's fall y'all you're still up in my room. I know. Never going down. So we have to, I have to go get real. He- I, I just hate taking pictures so much. I just want everybody to know that I know I need to get a headshot. I just hate taking pictures so much. I feel you. So we have to go, we should go get pictures together and then I'll just have someone take a couple of, ch- ch- I think I'm just yeah. going to do like a, <laughs> like I can't, like I can't take myself seriously. Me either. So I'm going to have to just. I'm the same way. I don't know. That's why I like to do it high. I know the way I like. I, the way I like myself in a mirror, but right. I can't look at a camera and look that way. I want someone to hold the mirror up behind the camera oh, person. God, yeah, right. Yeah, so I can see what right. I look like, right, yeah. and then we could do this in ten minutes. We'll figure it out. We'll hit up Abby Ballin or something. Yeah, Abby Ballin will hook It'll us. Be up. fun. He she did Blake's pictures. They looked great. Yeah. All right, so we'll do a couple lukewarm takes. Lukewarm takes. Lukewarm. Lukewarm. Lukewarm takes. We could do like a like Jack a, Sanchez and stuff. A and harmony where you go low, you go high, go low, vice versa. Okay, go. Are you going high or low? Lukewarm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll pr- I'll Google <laughs> harmonies later. <laughs> Fifth uh, harmony. Okay, right, go give uh, us. What age do you think? Are, do you think it's ever, let me rephrase this. Should your parents ever make you take their shit out of your house from like your childhood? Uh, They shouldn't, but they already did to me. They did a while ago. Well, I get, you're talking about baby shit? Like any stuff. Um, Like any. I take that back. My dad still has some of my things because of all my breakups and then having nowhere to live. So I made him take <laughs> half my stuff. Copy so that sister, me too. Yes, yeah, so he has like my drum, like my my furniture, and then uh, I have all my important stuff. Um, it's tough. I would say honestly, until they fucking die, right? Like I think you got to hold that shit. You made us. That's we, what I think. I didn't ask. I don't for need this. to see this. How yeah, how tigers yeah, because I don't care I- about my umbilical cord, but you do. Yeah. So like you can hold on to it until I guess you're dead, and then I'll decide if I want to keep it. But I probably don't. You know. Like, yeah, my I don't mom keeps like, you need to keep get come get all your dance trophies and your awards i'm like where oh, do you, well, i live in a first of all there's nothing i don't have nowhere awards. to put this in my apartment. if i had trophies or awards i would absolutely take them you you've would? seen the check on my wall yeah <laughs> like, like, i'm very proud of my minimal accomplishments <laughs> I, i've never i don't win things like well i do now but i do. did but i never but before comedy i'd never won things and I, I didn't compete in things i did one skate competition got knocked out of that so fucking quick <laughs> i couldn't i didn't even know i was in the contest i was like, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I ollied. He's like, out. And I'm like, oh, God. Damn it. So uh, that was quick. I didn't uh, even know we were starting. I didn't know I started. No. Uh, so, yeah, that was, I would definitely take trophies. But, like, I, I might. I think she should also keep those till she does. Yeah. Yeah. As a, I think my parents should have a whole room dedicated to me. So do I. But they don't. Neither of them. My bedroom as a kid looked. I remember my sister and her friend told me, like, years ago, they would walk into my room and be like, this is a room of, like, what a perfect kid's supposed to look like. Because it was just. Oh, no. It, sh- it was a shrine to myself. We were different people, huh? Yeah. And then we became reverse people. Like, I became I worse <laughs> and you became better. And then we met each other no. in the middle. <laughs> and then chick ten hun was. <laughs> oh, that was my... I'm peaking now. That was my low in life. Uh, yeah, my room was like a... My room looked like a TGI Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> like, a lot of flair. A lot of shit on oh, the I walls. I had a lot of shit. Random. I had like little shelves of like Coke bottles, Red Bull cans, because I just thought they were cool. 
Disney cups, Joe's Crab Shack. Uh, You're a whore. You're yeah. a gross old lady. Kind of. Well, not anymore. Now I don't have a home. Yeah, so I can. Uh, well, you I, have a home. I do, but I don't like not like my own space where I know I'm gonna like leave. Like it's not like a like where I'm gonna move eventually. It's not hoarder ready. Yeah. So I, once I get my own like permanent residence, then yes, I will definitely decorate it the same way. And I am a hoarder. I like to keep little but but, but important things like the Joe's Crab Shack cracker because we I go to Joe's Crab Shack with my family. Listen, I love a tchotchke. Mm-hmm. Okay, I tchotchke. love a tchotchke. Tchotchke. Who I, did I just say tchotchke to yesterday and they had no idea what the fuck I was saying? I got a tchotchke when I was in Philadelphia. I, I got another someone. like little instant holder. I was like, I don't need this, but I love tchotchkes. I'll take Can't this. I can't remember who I was talking to, man. I said tchotchke and they didn't know what the fuck I was saying. Tell them about charcuterie? They had no idea because a lady moving in. Uh, oh, but I have to tell you. Nope. Oh, my. Oh, okay. No, I heard that my ear, my, my, I, the, I had like a ping in my ear and, but it, <laughs> I thought I was dying. Uh, <laughs> she's, stro- she's gonna stroke out. She's stroking like, out. Uh, <laughs> you guys see me dying? Uh, like <laughs> this is on video, right? Um, Put it on the Patreon. Jackie dies. Yeah. Oh God, I need to make a Patreon. We could really get uh, a lot of subscribers. Should, if Jeff, I died, yeah, and it was live. Oh, <laughs> like edit the shit out of that. Just me dying. TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> she died. All right. I can do a eulogy for you. Oh, next hot take. Yeah, we'll, ha- we'll go on. Um, okay. What is, do you think names can make someone sexy? Yeah. And well. They, and, and the vice versa of that. Sexier. Can, okay. Do not, you, it can, I don't think it can change. Can a name make you ugly? Kind of. Like, what if you're really hot and your yeah. name's like, what's a gross name? Like, Olga. <laughs> Margaret. Bernard. Ew, Ger- Gerald. Oh, Ger- Gerald. Harold. Harry. Harry. I like Harry, Harry Styles. Actually, Harry, yeah. Um, Prince Harry's so cute. Jer. J- um, Marge, Marge is pretty. Marge, bad. Marge isn't a good one. They're just Bethany. Like, Bethany, that's a cute. Sounds like Stephanie, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. You know, you know what name I? Hate? Yeah, but Jack. But, I think <laughs> the guy's named Jack. I think they all are pieces okay. of shit. But <laughs> Stephanie, Bethany is just. She it, just sounds like a bitch. I don't like Beth. She sounds like she has like Lou, like a fucking Lily Elizabeth. Pulitzer. Elizabeth, remember Elaine Golden had that joke. I don't remember that. My sister's name Elizabeth. I just called her Elizabeth. Like I always wanted to be like Samantha or Scarlett or Vanessa. I just thought like those were like slutty. I had best friends named Sam and Vanessa. But no Sam. I don't want to be Sam. My mom was going to call me Stevie. It's like after Stevie Nicks. But like didn't catch on. So that's two failed attempts. Hollywood. I was supposed yeah, to do that the other yeah. day. And then now it could have been Stevie. I wish you were Hollywood. Oh my God. It would have been the be perfect so name. Oh good. That's like no one would even believe that's Hollywood. your name. Hollywood. I would die. Yeah. that No one would. My fr- one of my best friends, her name's Sunny, and it's spelled with a U. <laughs> Isn't that such a good name? Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. What's your name? Hollywood. Fuck like, where do you up. live? Iowa. <laughs> oh, Iowa. I'm Hollywood. I'm from Iowa. I'm not from Iowa. I just lived in Iowa City. Uh, yeah. Names. Uh, like I like I love the name Travis. I think. That, what? I think it's a hot Travis. You don't like that name? No, that's a guy who has a hat and he has <laughs> chew in and he got a, a, a truck. No, not yeah, all. Okay, and like fine. not a GED. What's a hot name to you? Chauncey. <laughs> you fucking a dog? What are you like? <laughs> a butler? You just, like, <laughs> Gerard Gerard Butler is my favorite. Name. I get, Gerard Butler. Well, he's so hot. Can't man. say Gerard Butler. Gerard. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! That was a lot of that last night. You missed it. I missed uh, it. What's a real? What's a sexy name for real? What do you? What's a? What do you like as a name? What's a hot name? Oh. Besides Blake. Uh, Balake. Blake's not a sexy name. Blake's a boy name. I know a girl named Blake. Yeah. I like unisex names. Like my sister's name's Jamie. Yeah, I know a couple Jamies. That's a cool name. Boys and girls. I always like girls. Devin. Like- my cousin's named Devin. She's a girl. Mm-hmm. Devin's a boy. But I think now. she goes by Devon now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't she keep Devin? <laughs> um, okay, next. Uh, and we'll just close out on this. Um, yeah. Have you ever read erotica before? Not real erotica. I read 50. Well, no, I didn't read 50 Shades of Grey. I saw the, what did you, what, what, I read saw the, the clip notes. I saw, <laughs> saw the movie. It's a book. Uh, but yeah, no. You I, saw those movies? All of them. I own them. Really? I've never watched any of them. All right. So, little secret. He's never going to watch this podcast. So Who? It's okay. Mr. Grey. 
Uh, okay. So my teacher that I had the hots for, oh, Jesus Christ. and yeah, <laughs> the teacher that I had the hots for in uh, in middle high school, um, still do. Uh, it was uh, it was Mr. Gray. He was the art teacher. No science. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's not even funny. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's so stupid. Um, okay. I'm crying. Uh, he was he was integrated science teacher, <laughs> um, and his name is Mr. Gray. So, when that movie came out, it was like a couple years after, and they were like, "Mr. Gray, we'll see you now." And I was like, mm. "Oh." man mm. that's why you're like okay. so i had to go see it um and then he was just super hot and he's he's older and it was a great movie i mean it's not uh it was like the like the bdsm factor is not legit like it's like it, it yes he hits the shit out of her once but uh for the most part like it's more so like the day-to-day -day behavior that like at any moment she's his bitch like that but it, but is in that the, the premise of the, the movie? yeah but otherwise they like just like make love like it's not even fucking like they make love like it's beautiful sex that they have like it's romantic girl sex like do you have these on dvds or i have two on dvd yeah you can <laughs> borrow yeah. i'll play them in my car yeah you can <laughs> <laughs> listen to it you yeah. have the audiobook yeah yeah like on yeah, cd yeah, though for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but on cd like, <laughs> set tape. i'll buy you 50 shades of gray cd so you can listen to well them. yeah so i always wonder like people who've watched that or read that so never read it though anyways i just like was like bored going through you do it you read it like there's a porn site that's like for women mm -hmm. so it's like not through the male gaze don't make we don't need to get into that okay. but um get into it later it's like for women by women like fubu but for porn. <laughs> 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 i hate myself so much today like i'm so glad i don't have to go on stage just, after this because yeah, i God. eat a dick Ugh. um no you'd be crazy speaking of eating dicks this that's fucking yeah. erotica yeah no, it's actually i'm I, I, i'll send you like a link it's okay. just like you can they'll tell you also i like I'll let you know how long it's gonna take to read it so oh. like six minutes or 15 minutes depending on oh, what your investment again. we gotta cut out these burps i'm normally not a burper <laughs> that's what's embarrassing about it is i rarely rarely burp and now you didn't this even is, drink anything no burps. i know I'm, i think it's because i'm hungry i think i just have oh, no yeah. food in my stomach and i'm burping but i just burped into we'll the microphone and now talking about it, it's not like we can pretend it didn't happen <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be called Jackie's Gassy. So, this is the name of the episode. Jackie's Gassy. Jack, Jack's got gas. I had to unbuckle my pants because I'm so. <laughs> and you have to go on burps. stage like that. And I have to go on fun. stage. I'll buckle them before I go on stage. But yeah, my lukewarm take is I have a hot take on erotica, and I'm gonna hook you yeah. up, sister. Yeah, it's that's less dirty. Like you ever like watch porn and you just like you just like ah, like turn it off. You know, yeah, it's like you yeah. don't feel gross about yourself. Okay. So yeah, I think it's a nice. I think it's a nice lukewarm way to just kind of lukewarm way. Okay, lukewarm way to get a little hot and get a little hot and bothered. Maybe I'll give it a shot. I don't know. I don't think I. I don't think it's well, for me. Well, we'll report back. How about we'll do? You'll do a little homework. We'll report back. <laughs> a little homework. <laughs> you gotta little homework. Blake, you gonna rub a spot out? No, not for Blake. Okay, not for Blake. It's for no, but he can read it and then he can let us know how it <laughs> works. <laughs> can you stop doing that, Chester? <laughs> Well, if we were doing this. That's like, he is a saint. He does not no, do those things. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. He Never does not mind. defecate or masturbate. Okay. He is a saint. <laughs> you say, yeah, he's saving his hand for marriage. I think that's <laughs> right. That's right. Well, right, chick, I love you. It was good to see you and catch it's up. Nice to Let's see go get you. some chick tin hun mustard. Yeah, hun must I do must need to eat. Watch uh, you guys crush it tonight. Tune yeah. in next week. You guys again find us Spotify, YouTube. I'm Stephanie Woodwood. You can also follow the podcast at. at at Chick Ten Hun Must. And then, of course, you can follow Miss Jackie Sanchez at Jackie Sanchez 22. 22. Thank you guys. See ya. Out. Bye. Bye. Chick Ten Hun Must Podcast. <laughs>